What's up everybody, it's Kellen here from Start Your Systems, and welcome to another MX vs. ATV Reflex custom track gameplay. Today we're going to be playing SX2 on Dark Slide's 19... Dark Slide 19's compound. Dark Slide's 19 compound? I don't know if it's slides or slide. Anyway, um, you may have already seen me play the uh, National and the SX1 track, which are both actually like, you, you can... If, the, if this is a free ride, you can ride to him on this particular layout. It's like not a separate environment and track and everything all together. Um, so he's released the SX2 now. I just saw it yesterday, so I figured, hey, that's kind of neat. Um, I like Dark Slides. He's a nice guy, and he makes cool stuff. So I figured I'd try out his track, and I liked it. Um, it's got a really good flow, similar to his SX1 track, where there's a um, mixture of elevation change and... Um, he has some different elements like this back section where it's like going in and out of water. Um, there's ruts and it's it's definitely not your standard supercross track, but it is still a supercross track because the majority of the track is this right here, which is rhythm sections and um, triples and whoops and you know everything you typically see at a supercross track. Um, I have struggled to find a good rhythm on the track. That doesn't mean that. Uh, you will struggle. It means that I am crap. But in general, it just seems like uh, the flow is is kind of broken up in a couple sections, especially if you take alternate lines. Like if I were to jump to the inside right there, there's a rut, and you can get going through the whoops if you hit them right. But it's really more or less just my skill set isn't good enough to do it. But um, no, I mean this track really seems to flow well if you work the outsides, carry your momentum. The insides kind of kill a lot of your momentum and again that's more of I just can't get into the rut and hook it well enough and I also tend to do that a lot uh, but I'll try to show you what I mean by changing up my lines a couple times during the video and you can see the insides I do like like I said though that he adds these these back sections where um, it's not super cross you know it's like a little kind of like a break almost where you don't have to think about timing a jump perfectly or whatever you just kind of have to flow through some ruts hit all your marks, have some good times, and play a little bit of reflex. My best time that I've been able to run so far uh, was a 111.3, so I just missed it on the first lap, but I think I can maybe tip up to it again by the end of this video. We'll see. I love the way that the track starts too, where I, it totally caught me off guard the first time I played this, where you start off track and then you just kind of go into this jump and I thought it was like oh so you roll up to this corner and you just turn left and go down that first little rhythm lane or whatever but nope you just full send off the start jump into the rhythm lane and I was somehow able to five in right there so that was kind of cool and unique I felt but yeah it's uh it's a good little track I need to think about going to the inside lines in some of these corners here soon Let's, let's do this as an inside corner lap. So there's an inside rut right here, which is honestly pretty hard to get to because of that little roller right before it. You can't just kind of lay into it. And then this rut, which I mess up all the time because I dig down into the water and I think that it's gonna um, kind of flow through the water a little bit more than it does. So then suddenly I'm turning too early for the corner. And yeah, it just, it ruins me. So that's not too fun. Triple to the inside here, rail this rut, and miss the inside of the corner. Sweet. I'm rusty, that is for sure. <laughs> I haven't played Reflex, well, since the last video, which was last week, but I don't know, I just seem to not be flowing as well on this track as I have in some other tracks. But here's what I'm talking about. So this corner coming up here, this rut is just tucked in right there, and you can get into the whoops, and if you get it right you can blitz them I'm just not that good at it and then this inside is pretty good you can hook into that pretty easily and blitz it but this inside if you hit it um, there's no way to triple that jump which I feel like is a little bit slower I didn't even get to look at my lap time but I, fe I felt like that entire lap was slower than the lines that I've been taking so let's switch back to the outside lines just ripping. And you don't need to even hit that wall jump that hard, but I just like I just like flowing lines, connecting outside lines. 
I think it's funny that he dug that water down deep enough that you get a little warning by going too deep in it. Oh my gosh, am I gonna get this rhythm section clean? Oh my. No, I'm not. <laughs> Got a little greedy and tried to soak up that top jump a little bit too much. If you go inside in that corner through that rhythm section that I just went through, and you're actually decent at the game, you can go 2-3-2, two, two, which is so far the only clean way I've seen that you can land in the corner without having a single end of the corner. Unless maybe you can go two quad from the outside, but I think you'd have to carry quite a bit of speed. Oh, got a kick. Damn it. Normally I'm really good about riding the very like high edge of a berm and using it all of it to my advantage. Not doing so well in this particular video. Wall jumps, not my favorite thing. I've yet to really come some across someone who like legitimately a wall jump is like, that's a great feature on a track. <laughs> um, no offense to dark slides because I think generally people put wall jumps on a, on a track just to have something as like a filler space almost and to I guess break up flow, which makes sense. But I'm talking about real supercross in this regard that I've never talked to anybody, met anybody, seen anybody that likes them enough that it's like, yep, that's a, that's a really good feature to have on the track. So maybe, Maybe some of you watching this video are some of those people that like a wall jump on the track. And kudos to you because then they're actually building it for a reason because it it pleases you as a fan watching it. But me, personally, I, I wouldn't be sad if wall jumps were not a part of Supercross in the future. The rest of this track, totally fine with it. I like it. It flows good. I like it doesn't break up, the, uh, the ruts hold you well, the environment is spectacular, and of course Dark Slide's bump models are just the most beautiful thing ever. I keep going outside hoping to go 3-3-3-3-3 three, 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 three through this rhythm section, and it pretty much always turns into just a double fest. That's not really the way I want to approach that section, but oh well. Oh, I got a pretty good drive out of that corner. Oh, busting a quad almost. You can, if you land over here, cut down and not even hit the berm and still just comfortably three through this rhythm section. Ooh, almost quad in there. I really need to start using the whip glitch a little bit more. I just feel like it looks so unnatural. And I'm pretty bad at it too, so there's that. I really don't think I'm gonna beat this 212. I need to get an actual decent lap in here. Nope, damn it. I have to check up, use this line, which is slow as all holy hell, my goodness. And tuck inside, tuck inside, tuck inside. <laughs> Why not? Let's tuck inside one more time. Prop. And double. And triple! Ugh, that didn't work. Whoop section. Triple? There it is. And you can kind of just land in this corner, rail that guy. There's the quad, comfortably. And then if you go outside and get this corner saucily, you can quad into the rhythm, and then apparently double, triple, single through the rest of it. This lap's feeling good. Don't know if I'm gonna get to the line before the 212 though. No, nope, not gonna get there. It's close. I'm trying, it's definitely not without a little bit of trying. So we triple in, on, on, off. And rail this outside. I think I'm gonna keep railing the outside here. And rail the outside here. And tuck to the inside. Wall jump. 
and go outside here so that I can maybe just maybe triple into the rhythm and then triple again and then triple one more time and then soak up this top jump so that I can then jump to the outside here and do this line which I don't even know if it's a fast line but I took it swing around here land on the side of the track and then three in three again and then maybe quad out yes I can do that man if I talk myself through the lap it actually seems to go a lot better oh, and then as soon as I stop talking about the lap I go off the track around the corner down this way into this corner oh almost went off the berm look at that lap 1084 that is still probably terrible compared to some people that can play this game but I'm proud of it because it was five seconds better than the lap I'd ran prior and I felt like I actually turned a lap that looked decent and wasn't just utter crap Ooh, almost doubled off of that wall can I do the rest of this lap good oh triple in triple again triple again case it swap diddlies <laughs> Oh man, this game's always fun though, I tell you. That was an interesting way to approach that section. It's such an easy game, and I've talked about it just way too many times before, but it's such an easy game to pick up and just be comfortable on it again. Um, which I really hope happens in the new MX vs. ATV game, and the gameplay footage I saw last week was pretty good, and if you want to see that trailer that they posted, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, etc. Posted it on Facebook. All right, one more lap to go. Let's have another good lap here on Dark Slides 19 compound. Oh, 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 case and everything. That looked so comfortable. Whoop, whoop. Can't fly into that corner. Water's deep. Triple in. Triple again. Triple one more time. And soak up the doubles so that I can triple off the top. And then double to the inside, rip the corner. Triple and double. I think it was a pretty good lap. So while I'm trying to finish it, I'll talk about my usual spiel, which is if you guys like this video, Please don't shy away from liking the video. You know, there's a like button there for you. But if you guys actually like this track and like what you're seeing of it, you can download it in the description below. There's always a link available for you. Support the uh, content creators that make all this stuff possible for us YouTubers. And I thank you kindly for watching another video here on Start Your Systems 111. Not too bad for the last lap. But for Kellen here on Start Your Systems, I hope to see you guys in all of our future videos, but for now, I'm heading out. See you guys.